You know, it's been raining for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, but finally, it's sunny. It's lovely and sunny. And uh, it's actually sunny enough that some of this stuff is going to need watering. It's looking a little dry up there. But look, my peas have peas on them. My carrots are nice and bushy. I'm feeling good. It's nice to have this weather. And there's been a bunch of... Um, well, I like to think it's good news happening in the, uh, well, in the news lately. One of those happy bits of news is that Merck got fined. I don't know, a few billion. It's nice that they get fined from time to time. It was the usual thing, you know, finding somebody who can be bought and then buying them. Getting doctors and professors to basically do their sales for them. Normal dirty stuff, but they don't get caught often enough doing that. It's good to see them get fined from time to time. What else? Oh yes, Barclays. They've been fined too for rate fixing. And the whole LIBOR scandal is actually turning into quite a big thing. Other banks, German banks, are being looked into now. All sorts of banks are being looked into. That's a good thing. Banks should be looked into more. I mean, they do dirty, filthy, rotten stuff all the time. But because they've got a lot of money and a lot of power, Generally, they can get people to look the other way. But it's good to see them getting investigated. In fact, I think the Serious Fraud Office is now involved. And that's the first time I recall hearing the F word being associated with what's been going on in the banks. Even though they've been committing fraud all over the place. And that's, that's why the economy is in such big trouble. It's not because there are fundamental problems that we're running out of supply of things or that there aren't people to do the work. It's just that the way we organise the people doing the work and the way that we organize the supply of stuff has fallen apart because people have been gaming the system. Bankers have been gaining, gaming the system for their own benefit. Actually, that reminds me, uh, Arsol GTP, and if I have mispronounced your name, Arsol GTP, I'm sure you'll tell me, um, made a video a little while back um, saying that we should get out of banks and there's a Facebook page that he linked to, and uh, I'll, I'll link to that in the information bar and uh, to his video. So, come September 1st, if you're uh, in a bank and you haven't gotten out of it yet, and you haven't moved your finances and transactions out of a bank into something more hmm, civilized, then September 1st you might want to sign up with this Facebook thing and, and, and look into that. Look here what I've been doing. I've been transplanting seedlings from here in here. That's transplanting, or as it's also known, killing. I've been killing seedlings. This never works. <sighs> They're supposed to be tomato plants. <laughs> it's July the 7th, and they're just little things. What other happy news was there? Oh yeah, Sarkozy. Sarkozy's in Canada right now. He's in Montreal. He had to flee France. I think that's wonderful. He's not suffering at the moment. He's couch surfing with a billionaire friend of his. Um, he had to flee because of a bit of a bribery scandal or corruption scandal or something. Apparently he accepted money from another billionaire friend of his. Seems to have a lot of billionaire friends. When a politician has a lot of billionaire friends, you kind of know who they're working for, eh? So anyway, I hope he gets his comeuppance, and if not, well, at least I hope his billionaire friends get tired of him surfing on their couches. And what else was there? The German, the German court ruling that outlawed circumcisions for non-medical reasons on, um, on minors who can't legally consent. So effectively, because it's not the fashion to just circumcise your kids in Germany, uh, effectively, that means uh, an outlaw or a ban on religious circumcisions. And uh, it was initially, uh, it w initially went to court because of uh, a Muslim circumcision that went wrong. And uh, so the Muslims are upset. But of course, the people that get the most press are the Jews. The Jews are terribly upset. It's, it's wonderful to have something that the Jews and the Muslims can agree on. But uh, quite frankly, I don't really see. I don't really see how they can argue. Uh, well, I do see how they can argue, but fundamentally, it's a, a right of, of uh, bodily integrity for somebody who's under age not to have something 
permanent and scarring done to them. So it seems pretty clear cut to me. Of course, the word Holocaust has been brought up already because, um, because preventing you from snipping the skin off the end of your kid's dick is exactly the same as being thrown into the showers, gassed and then burned in ovens. I can see that. No, I can't. No, that's, that's rubbish. And of course, it's the normal histrionic rubbish that you always hear, like, we're being persecuted horribly. Well, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Just, you know, integrate, would you? And, and get with the moral values of the current century. Uh, there are backwards places that still allow you to do that sort of stuff, but come on. It's, 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 uh, it's 2012 already. We've moved on. And I know I've, I've heard rabbis say, but it's, it's the core. It's not, just a, it's not just this thing that we do, it's the core of our beliefs. You know, if, I, if, 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 having, if having perverts suck blood from the snipped genitals of your boys is um, the core of your belief, then it's got a pretty shabby core, I'd say. And you say, well, you know, God commanded us to do this. God command, I'd say, number one, you've got a fairly uh, pervy and uh, mean-spirited God there, if he wants you to do that to your boys. And number two, um, people have said that God has told them to murder and eat their families, and it's just not an adequate excuse. It's time to grow up. Come on, get with the times. Anyway, it's only a single jurisdiction ruling at the moment, and I fundamentally favour it myself. I think it's a good thing. I wish other jurisdictions would have the courage to say the same thing. We all recognize it as horrific when you perform those procedures on girls. It's horrific when you perform them on unconsenting boys who have no medical reason to have it done. Anyway, those are the things that made me happy this week. I don't have a fancy tagline. I should get one, shouldn't I? Now, unlike those little tomato seedlings I showed you earlier, which is actually my second attempt for the year because I killed the first bunch, <laughs> I'm killing the second one. Look at these guys. I have nothing to do with these ones. These planted themselves. And look, they got flowers on them. <sighs> I'm such a bad gardener. <laughs>